Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Uh, just going to do a little update here tonight on the um, Pro Star build. I've got a few things uh, finished up on it and um, everything's looking real good. So I just wanted to uh, show everybody what's been going on over the weekend and what we got accomplished. Uh, so I'll bring the camera down here and go over some things real quick and um, just kind of zoom in the best we can on them and we'll go from there. Okay, we have the uh, Pro Star in its base coat of um, House of Color Orange that I've custom mixed up for this build. And uh, it's all the body work's done on it right now, so we are getting into the painting stages. And all this is just a base coat, no clear has been applied. And as you can see on the hood there, we have the black started, um, which will be black above the bird decal that we're putting on it so it's all coming out pretty good and I don't know if it'll show up on the camera very well but the frame is the darker tone um, it still has the gold pearl in it but it is a darker uh, color it's about two shades darker than the actual fenders and the body color will be so uh, it's all all coming out pretty good um, and down here in front of it uh, a couple of things that we've been working on I've got the uh, Propane bottle for the um, gas grill. It's all detailed up and painted, ready to go with the uh, A&N fittings and the stainless hose and the regulator valve. All that's done. And uh, that is uh, some of the ceramic work for the uh, kitchenette. And that piece back there. And, of course, the uh, paper towels that we made up. And that is the uh, carpet for the sleeper. And this panel here is... Uh, Actually, the last panel that I need to install in the uh, bathroom module that's going in. And in this panel, you can see the ceramic work. And the um, did a uh, wall-mounted sconce for the uh, flower. And also the uh, toilet paper that we scratch built. Um, out of some bits and pieces of plastic that's been shaped. And some Tamiya tape painted white. So, and... Moving on over, and we have the uh, Eagle decals uh, from Jerry at Model Trucking Decals. And I've got them custom cut to uh, go in position on the model. And the last thing that I wanted to show everybody is the um, bathroom unit uh, that we worked on. Now, this is almost done, not totally. Uh, I won't finish everything up until after it gets installed into the sleeper. And then I'll do the rest of the trim work. But uh, just to give everybody a quick rundown on it, we used a uh, uh, Plastruck uh, pattern sheet for the um, ceramic work in it. And the uh, shower head is made out of solder and A&N fittings. And also has hot and cold valves in there. And uh, photo etch drain in the very bottom of it. And the shower curtain is actually uh, done out of a piece of parts bag that's uh cut to the size that I needed and this was the part I was having a hard time zooming in on so I'm not going to be able to get in real close and get any real good detail for you guys but um, we've got the scratch built toilet assembly in there um, went ahead and made some rugs for it and have a uh, towel on the towel bar electrical outlets uh, there's a mirror on this panel here and of course we got some more of the ceramic work with the uh, half round for the top trim and this unit will be lit I put a three millimeter uh, white LED in it uh, so the bathroom unit will be lit up and made an overhead compartment there and that one panel that I was uh, showed you first uh, with the flower on it the wall panel um, that's actually going to go into place in this position right here And see if we can get it set up there. Yeah, that'll sit right there and uh, get finished off on the outside. I've got to do a skin on the outside of it, which will become the, um, the uh, interior color that's in the sleeper. And everything you see up here in the front where the wiring and stuff goes, um, all that will be hidden. And I painted that whole panel black so it uh, stops all the light bleed from the LED. So you don't have any problems there. The only lights you'll be seeing is um, actually what shines down uh, into the toilet area. 
and uh, that's one of the reasons I put an LED in there was to light up the scratch-built toilet and uh, this toilet also has uh, water in it um, and like I say it's it's so dark in there that it's very hard to see uh, on the camera I tried to do a whole uh, video of the um, of the bathroom itself but it just didn't work out so I scrapped that idea uh, my camera is just not good enough to uh, pick up the detail in there like that, especially in that dark of an area. And I'm not going to get into setting up lights and doing all that stuff. And um, it's just uh, it's just not worth it to me just to try to make a video of a, of a part in a model. So, um, But, you know, once I get it all installed in the sleeper, we'll try the camera then and see if it kind of zooms in a little bit better once it's installed in there with some different lighting. But... Um, just wanted to bring everybody up to date on that and let you know how it's coming along. Uh, we're going to um, put the black on tomorrow. I'm going to finish the orange base coat, and the black will be going on tomorrow. We'll be taping that off and putting that on. And um, it's looking like Thursday we'll be installing the decals, and the guide coat of clear will start going on uh, probably Friday morning. And then I plan on shooting the um, final coats of clear on it, the inner coat clear, which will have some pearl mixed in it, and the final coats of clear on uh, Saturday morning before the 24-hour build. So while we're doing the 24-hour build, um, this thing will be sitting here drying, and uh, Monday evening I'll be able to get back on it and uh, start doing final assembly on it. So um, we'll bring you up to date on, on the progress on it after I get it painted and show you what it looks like. And then we'll do another video on it probably uh, middle of next week or toward the weekend to show you what we've got accomplished. So um, any uh, comments or questions or anything, just leave them on this video and I'll get back to you on that. And like always, I thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.